Hi everybody, I'm really excited to show you um, one of my newest uh, Chinese thread books. Um, I've been making them for the last couple years now and uh, these are the ones I started out with where, you know, they're a beautiful paper, washi paper, and I would add a little, you know, tie-in and, and here I made uh, star fold boxes, flat um, triangle boxes, you know, fold up into here and and then you, you have open up into beautiful, uh, delicate paper. And they're usually hold, um, they're made to hold, um, you know, um, threads and fabric. That's what it was originally designed for. But today you can use them to hold ephemeral things, you know, uh, remembrances of travel, like I've done here. This is my, I think my travel one. And I've added like, um, you know, photos of uh, people, of you know my family and uh, sometimes I'll add my key card uh, when I went on a cruise so this I now these are the ones I've been working on for some time but my latest one I've been thinking about for is making an Alice in Wonderland book so uh, a little departure from here instead of adding the you know book binding or the book ties inside inside the cover here I decided to add buttons so i added a button here and um and i added some alice in wonderland uh ephemera in front so let's take a look what's inside uh see i added a add another button here now i made the cardboard i made the binding just to let you know um i made that and then again i have a lot of my star folds but this time i added uh, uh quite a few more boxes and i decided to add uh, some things inside my boxes with the help of my daughter Audrey. She helped me uh, decorate some of the things inside. And they, um, again, you see the star folds and uh, I liked to hide little things like keys, you know, that are reference to Alice in Wonderland teapots. Not all the boxes have something in there. Uh, you know, sometimes it's just for the just to, just to enjoy the paper design in itself. And I had the star folds go two ways for fun. So each box has a little something that relates to Alice in Wonderland. And under each box are more boxes, hidden boxes. So I have, uh, have one of Alice here, you know, have one of the queen right next to her, this one is just for to enjoy the pattern here. And, oh, look, here's a little, you know, Cheshire cat, you know, springing up on you. And then on top, this one is actually a box as well. And has a little crown in there. And it folds down. This one's another star fold. I did this way and I thought I'd add uh, saying in there from the book, I wonder which way I ought to go. Okay, and then yet yeah, there are more boxes underneath. So underneath here, I added a box of rabbits. So, and I added Alice through the looking glass here. I love the paper. I think the the roundness uh, adds to her uh, the the craziness or the the uh, the theme of the book, the feeling of the book. There's also uh, boxes underneath here. I added the word, uh, I use a Cricut a lot, so I added cursor and cursor. So here you go. I cut this out and put this on here. And then here, I added another box. There's Alice popping up. So have fun with this one. And there are more boxes here. Now again, I use my Cricut to cut out all the designs in here. This one, I I uh, um, used up, I sacrificed one deck of cards to make this one up. This one is not a box, but I thought it'd be a fun thing to add. It's a little, little uh, extra something. Now on this side, you have several long boxes here. More rabbits. And here's Alice with the Cheshire Cat out in the forest, and also something, a 
about all the knaves in the book. And finally, there's a big, big one down here, which reads, Imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. So um, here you go. This is my Alice in Wonderland book. If you want to guess how many boxes, do so in the comments. Um, if you want to know where I get my paper, please let me know in the comments. Um, I can tell you one of them is Hiromi in Los Angeles. So I'll add that in. Um, Blick and um, let's see, Artists and Craftsman Supply. And I do get them online from various uh, um, places that do sell Japanese paper, Japanese washi paper. I feel they're the best for these books here. So thank you for um, paying attention or, you know, listening along here and seeing my wonderful box. Bye.